Mark 11 verse 24 says, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Join me as we go to the Lord in prayer. Open your heart and believe so that the blessings of this prayer will come to you. Say this prayer with faith. Dear Heavenly Father, We humbly come before you today. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You, the Lord, created the earth and the heavens, and all that is in them. I give you all the praise and glory. Thank you, God, for everything in my life. I'm grateful for the good things and even the tough times. You've been with me through it all, and for that, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. God of mercy and compassion, please look with pity on me. I know I have sinned against you. I ask for your forgiveness. Father, Lord, have mercy on my mistakes and failures. Every mistake I have done in word, action, and deeds, Father, forgive me. For your word clearly says in 1 John 1 verse 9, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. I declare the power of God against any work of the enemy. Every secret agenda the devil and cohorts have plotted against me, be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Father, your word said Christ was manifested that the works of the enemy might be destroyed. Every work of the enemy against my marriage, my job, my business, my career, my family, and children, be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name, I declare fruitfulness in every area of my life. Let the power of Christ touch my life so I bear fruit. I am fruitful in my life, in my ministry, in my marriage, in my business, in my career, in my job, and in my finances, for the Lord gives us power to make wealth. Let prosperity be my portion in Jesus' name. I will not lack but have an abundance. Lord, I want to serve you with all my heart. Anything that hinders my service, Father, deliver me. God, save me from myself, save me from people who will not lead me to you, save me from desires which are not godly, things which are not in line with your word. Father, help me obey your word. Sometimes the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Lord, make me strong, make me fervent in you. Restore unto me, Lord, the joy of my salvation. Father, restore all the things I have lost, either by my ignorance or carelessness. You said in your word that the years the locust has eaten in our lives, you will restore us. Thank you, Lord, for restoring me, my family, my marriage, my career, and my ministry. Father, you sent forth your word to heal our diseases and sicknesses. I declare your healing from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Father, heal my family, friends, and loved ones. Let your healing be their portion too. I boldly declare that I am a child of God. I walk in victory through faith. I am the head and never the tail. I am what God says I am in Jesus' mighty name. I boldly declare Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He mocketh me to lie down in green pastures, he letteth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul, he letteth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you, my Father God for hearing my prayer and answering my prayer. Amen. As this message has blessed you, type the word Amen in the comment section and share with us your testimony too in the comment section. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, all these blessings have come upon you now. Beloved, help us spread the gospel of Christ and reach more people all over the world by liking this video and sharing this message with your family, friends, and loved ones. We really appreciate your great support. We plead with you to subscribe so you can receive more videos that will revive your spirit and uplift your life. Christ came that all people will be saved. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, this is the right time to do so. Say this after me. Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and because of me, you came to die on the cross of Calvary. Father, forgive me of all my sins. Today, I boldly declare that you are my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my heart and lead me. As you have said this prayer, congratulations you have been born again. Please look for a pastor in a Bible-believing church and tell him you have given your life Christ. You will need to fellowship with other believers to learn about your new life. Prayer is a very powerful tool God has given us. With prayer our problems receive solution and we get comforted by God. Please leave your prayer request in the comment section. We are constantly interceding on your behalf before God. Trust me friends, our God will answer your every prayer request. Sometimes we may not reply to your prayer request in the comment section, but that does not mean we are not praying for you. We have you at heart in your requests. May the grace of our Jesus Christ and the love of God be with you now and forevermore. Amen. This verse highlights the importance of making God our dwelling place, our constant companion in life. When we place Him at the center of our lives, we can fully embrace His protection and love. It's an invitation to invite God into every aspect of our lives, to make Him the foundation upon which we build our existence. Verse 10. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. God's promise of protection extends to our homes and families. This verse assures us that, when we make Him our refuge, our households are also covered by His protective hand. It's a promise of peace and security for our loved ones, a reassurance that God's protection extends to those closest to our hearts. Verse 11, For He shall give His angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. God appoints angels to watch over us and guide us along our life's journey. His love is so profound that He provides heavenly guardians to ensure our safety and well-being. It's a reminder that we are never alone on our life's journey, that we have divine companions who watch over us and guide us in the right path. Verse 12, In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. This verse reminds us that, under God's watchful care, we are shielded from harm and protected from stumbling. We can walk confidently in the assurance that God's angels are there to guard our steps. It's a picture of God's watchful presence in our lives, always ready to lift us up and protect us from stumbling on our life's journey. Verse 13, You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. This verse symbolizes our victory over the enemy and the challenges we face. With God's protection, we have the power to overcome even the fiercest adversaries in our lives. It's a message of empowerment, reminding us that we have the strength to conquer the obstacles in our path with God's help. Verse 14, Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him, I will set him on high because he has known my name. God's promise of deliverance is a direct result of our love and devotion to Him. When we make the choice to know His name and seek Him with all our hearts, He elevates us to a place of honor and safety. It's an acknowledgement that God rewards our love and devotion with His protection and blessings. Verse 15, He shall call upon me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. God is always attentive to our prayers. He promises to be with us in times of trouble, 
delivering us from our difficulties and honoring us with His presence. Our relationship with Him is a powerful source of protection and blessing. It's an assurance that in our times of need, God is just a call away, ready to answer and be with us in our troubles. Verse 16, With long life I will satisfy Him and show Him my salvation. In conclusion, God's ultimate promise is a long and satisfying life filled with His salvation. When we place our trust in Him, we not only receive His protection but also the gift of eternal life and salvation. It's a message of hope that extends beyond our earthly existence, assuring us of God's love and presence not only in this life but also in the life to come. As we reflect on each verse of Psalm 91, we discover the profound depth of God's love and protection for us. It is a prayer that can guide us through the challenges of each new day, reminding us that we are not alone, and we are under the shadow of the Almighty. So, dear friends, let us embrace Psalm 91 as a source of encouragement and strength in our daily lives. May it serve as a constant reminder of God's unwavering protection and love for each of us. When we make the Most High our dwelling place, we find refuge, peace, and the assurance of a new day filled with God's grace and presence. We live in a world full of darkness and wickedness. The devil and his cohorts are working all the time all day to destroy lives and shatter the dreams and goals of people. Their main aim is to make that the purpose of God concerning humanity won't see the light of the day but the devil is a big liar. The scriptures clearly says, for this reason Christ was manifested that the works of the enemies be destroyed. I am going to release a very powerful prayer for you in your life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Kindly watch till the end believe and open your heart to receive the blessings that comes with this prayer. Today, I'm going to share with you a source of incredible strength and hope, a prayer that has the power to transform your life. It's found in Psalm 91, and it's often referred to as the most powerful prayer for a new day. This beautiful psalm is a timeless reminder of God's unwavering protection and love for each of us. Verse 1, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. This verse invites us to draw close to God, to make Him our refuge. When we choose to dwell in His presence, we find shelter and protection in His mighty shadow. In our daily lives, this means making a conscious decision to rely on God, to seek His guidance and strength. It's like finding a hidden sanctuary in the midst of life's chaos, a place where we can rest and find solace. Verse 2, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him I will trust. Proclaiming our trust in the Lord is a powerful declaration of our faith. When we declare God as our refuge and fortress, we affirm His role as our protector and provider. This verse encourages us to speak God's promises over our lives, reinforcing our faith and dependence on Him. It's a reminder that in God, we find a secure refuge from life's storms, a fortress that can't be shaken. Verse 3 Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. Here, we are reminded that God is our deliverer. He rescues us from the traps and dangers that we may encounter in life. In a world filled with challenges and uncertainties, we can find comfort in knowing that God is our ultimate protector, guiding us safely through the storms. Imagine God as the one who sets us free from the snares of life who keeps us safe from the dangers we might not even see coming. Verse 4, He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge, his truth shall be your shield and buckler. Imagine the image of a mother bird sheltering her young under her wings. In the same way, God covers us with his love, grace, and truth. His truth becomes our shield guarding us from the lies and deceptions of the world. When we seek refuge in Him, we find safety and peace. 
It's a picture of tender care and protection that God offers us, a love that keeps us safe and shields us from the adversities of life. Verse 5. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day. Fear can be a constant companion in our lives, but this verse reminds us that we need not be afraid. God's protection is unwavering, whether in the darkness of night or the challenges of the day. We can find courage in knowing that we are under His watchful care. This verse reassures us that fear need not control our lives. We can be free from its grip, knowing that God is our protector. Verse 6, Nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. In a world filled with illness and destruction, God's promise of protection stands firm. The darkness and chaos cannot overcome us when we place our trust in Him. This verse reminds us that God's love is our shield against all harm. It's a message of hope in the face of the world's troubles, assuring us that no matter how dark things may seem, God's light will prevail. Verse 7, A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Though we may witness difficulties and hardships all around us, we are assured that God's protection will keep us safe. This verse is a powerful reminder that God's care for us is personal and unwavering, even in the midst of widespread challenges. In a world filled with turmoil and uncertainty, we can stand with confidence, knowing that God's protection sets us apart. Verse 8, Only with your eyes shall you look, and see the reward of the wicked. As we witness the consequences of wrongdoing, we can trust that justice will prevail. This verse encourages us to maintain our faith and confidence in God, knowing that He sees all and ensures that justice is served. It's a reminder that we don't need to take matters into our own hands, for God is the ultimate judge who ensures that right prevails over wrong. Verse 9, Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. 